Um, one interesting thing is they also opened a Monster Hunt uh, this, at the same weekend as the in the U.S. And Monster Hunt is the highest grossing film in China ever. It made $385 million in China. As I mentioned about the release dates, Monster Hunt was released in Asia last year in July. And they only released it here now. And it made about as much as how other films, uh, what other films made when they released too far off of the original release dates in Asia. And even the second Yibman film, uh, when they released it in the U.S., made about 21000 when it opened in limited screens. And well, actually, it made more than this. It made more. I think it made about 60000 But still, it's really important for these films that they release them early instead of later, because I'm sure a lot of people have already probably, who wants to see Monster Hunt, have already owned the Blu-ray. Perhaps, but I just yeah. want to point out that uh, for me, Monster Hunt is just not that good of a movie. The special effects and the art style is kind of odd to me. I don't think it will appeal to Western audiences. It could be, as you say, that uh, you know people who've seen who want to see Monster Hunt have already seen it. Mm -hmm. And I also like to point out that uh, you know Monster Hunt is not that good of a movie. And um, people who are used to special effects movies have seen better. People who are used to see uh, martial arts movie have seen better. So I don't know why this movie is so big <laughs> in China. <laughs> It's probably a combination of all that. It would have probably done better had they released it closer to its original release date. It might have done a lot better, but it might still not have done in the same range as Yiman 3, for instance. Yiman 3, mm. I mean, Donnie Yen was at least promoting it in the US, and Donnie Yen speaks near perfect English, which a lot of people were actually shocked by since he grew up in the US and he called out a career in uh, Hong Kong slash China. Whereas Monster Hunt, the only way they can really promote it is by saying that, hey, it's the highest grossing movie in China ever. They can't actually put a person out there to promote it. Whereas with Yiman 3, Donnie Yen and Mike Tyson was promoting it, you know, in like LA and in talk shows. Right. And any movie with Mike Tyson in it, it's probably a must-see. <laughs>